Okay. So anyway, so um, um, I'm Professor Hustamo from the Department of Design Media Arts, and um, it's my pleasure to welcome you tonight to another lecture event in our Media Bunka Japanese Media Culture Lecture Series. This it's the fall lecture series of the department, and um, it's my great pleasure to uh, introduce to you. You, a really interesting um, person f working on the field of new, new art design technology in Japan. So uh, Nob Noboro Chubaki, who's going to be our yeah. lecturer tonight. And um, I think that Chubaki-san is going to speak a little bit about his rather extraordinary background, but he has tried many interesting fields. So starting uh, from career in the lawyer, being a lawyer, and then working with, with, with painting until he moved to the field of uh, new technology, design, uh, and uh, media arts. And he has um, uh, many interesting achievements, actually, to his credit. And uh, I would just uh, like to mention a few ones. So he has uh, represented uh, uh, Japan at the, at the prestigious Biennale in Venezia. And uh, he has... Uh, designed the uh, Japanese pavilion for the uh, expo in, in Hannover, Germany, that was in 2000. And um, he has also been represented in some uh, highly noted exhibitions in, in, uh, in the United States. One of them was called Against Nature. And um, uh, more recently, he um, got a lot of attention for his work, which was shown at the Yokohama Triennale in Japan, which was this giant locust climbing on the one of the skyscrapers in the Yokohama Harbor uh, area. So, and um, last but not least, one of his most in recent projects is something which I think he will say a few words, which is called the NeuroCube, which is a totally new kind of an environment uh, technology for meant for media artists, other creators working on the field of new, new technologies. Um, I would also like to mention that tonight we, we have another uh, of the creators of the um, NeuroCube here, Mr. Katsuda here. They were, we're working together on this uh, NeuroCube. And, uh, and although uh, Mr. Tsubaki speaks good English, he wanted to be sure that, that everything's precise. So we will have one of our students, uh, Dominic Chen, one of our seniors, mm -hmm. actually um, translating uh, yeah. uh, Mr. Tsubaki's uh, speech so Dominic is very fluent in, in several languages. He, he's our multilingual genius in the department. <laughs> so we are especially happy that he agreed to uh, collaborate on this. And let me also say that Dominic uh, has done some interesting work in, in Japan as well. So he has uh, collaborated on with, um, with uh, famous people like Takeshi Murakami. And he co contributes to a highly regarded uh, Japanese uh, art journal called BT, BT Magazine. So uh, I would be very happy to now uh, welcome uh, our uh, guests, uh, Mr. Tsubaki, Mr. Katsuda, and, and, and Dominic Chen. So let's give them a hand. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me uh, to UCLA lectures tonight. And I'm very honored uh, this situation, and uh, I'm very, uh, very lucky. And uh, uh, last, last night, I stay in Toronto. Toronto is uh, very uh, snowy and storm. And I'm, I'm very afraid <laughs> to uh, connect to uh, this uh, airport. But, uh, Los Angeles is a half three t-shirts always people so walking around. I'm very uh, lucky and uh, I love this uh, situation. And uh, my first time, uh, my first time exhibit uh, in 1989 in San Francisco, uh, Modern Art Museum, against the name of Against Nature, uh, Japanese modern uh, contemporary art uh, young people's exhibition. First time in U.S. And the first time, maybe first time in uh, outside of Japan, and uh, uh, newcomers of uh, new generation. And uh, do you know the uh, Otomo uh, Akira, and a very famous uh, animation? 
and many, many uh, newcomers and uh, growing up and after 1989. And uh, my, um, my pleasure is... Uh, um, that, uh, that exhibition's name is My Ideas Against Nature. I said, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Thomas Sokolsky and uh, Kesh Halbrahi, uh, two persons uh, of uh, independent uh, curator of that uh, exhibition, and uh, collaborate and uh, uh, meeting and uh, naming and my, my, my words against nature. Japanese people know nature. <laughs> Japanese people, uh, farmers, and the garbage, <laughs> and, uh, and no natures, uh, wouldn't cut, <laughs> and, uh, and the chemical, e chemical foods eat McDonald's very like, <laughs> and uh, coke like, uh, Japanese people, no, uh, natures. And, uh, and, uh, that idea is, is uh, coming. Uh, and after the trans translation him, and uh, my English is very poor, and I'm sorry. And tonight's uh, program, program is a very serious uh, Japanese culture's uh, problems, and I say uh, thank you very much. じゃあ、あとは日本語でよろしくお願いします。失礼します。え、それではですね、あの、え、今日はあの、ドミニクチェンさんをお迎えしてあの、私はあの、非常に光栄なんですが、え、ドミニクさんは日本文化の非常に古い日本文化のことから非常に造形が深い。で、これはもう私がまず第一に彼にお会いして共感したことです。ですから、私が今日レクチャーする内容はほとんど彼は知っているというのがまず一番大きな良
Uh, this time um, I'm working with um, a junior high school art teacher. And um, every, every time to use uh, a paper mache, a cheap paper mache. And so many paper mache. <laughs> <laughs> Very expensive, but uh, making big blob yellows. Um, height, um, three, point, three meters height and uh, uh, four meter uh, depth and two meter. And uh, this, this museum is La Jolla, uh, close to here, San Diego. A very famous uh, contemporary art museum, a nice museum. And my, uh, my debut work is the, uh, this. This work is the 1989. Uh, this piece I made for uh, the Venice Biennale. So uh, on this piece, I wanted to criticize Japanese um, way of education. あの、どうします。で、中学校の担任をして、中学校の担任の先生をしていて、自分のクラスの、こう、始業式の日に何も言わずに拉致していって、プールの中にいなさいと言って、こうやって洗えるポーズをとって、やっても彼女たちは何も
So this um, represents this um, separation from the mass and the intellectual in Japan. So there's no communication between them. So at the same time I make this uh, piece of fine art, I, wor uh, I also work as an art teacher in a middle school in Kobe. So I get in touch with uh, the young um, culture too. Uh, in Japan, there are many kids um, that refuse to go to school now. Because uh, Japanese society today is a very, is very hard to live for people who want to express themselves. So the Japanese society is pretty uh, restrictive toward those free expressions. So in my case, uh, many, uh, many of my students come to see me after school to tell, them, uh, to tell me their uh, personal problems. Um, that's when I teach them that uh, art is a very good way of communication. So after this one uh, student came to me with this piece, I told, I told her to, uh, to accompany this piece uh, with her poem. And I asked her to use her own typography and not use uh, any found typography. And after three days, she came up with this shocking piece. Very shock. <laughs> Maybe her, do uh, her boyfriend. <laughs> and this uh, poem on the right means, uh, please let me see your heart. Please let me see your, uh, inside your heart. So after all, she continued to work on this um, rather serious piece. So in this poem, she um, addresses the God. She says, um, God, or oh Father, um, Um, what I think it's a dream is not um, an escape. It's pretty hard. <laughs> uh, so she asked herself actually in this piece if um, the dream as a way of escaping reality uh, is a uh, right way or not. So this piece was presented in uh, BT magazine, the art magazine Japan. So in this poem, she, she expresses the, the difficulty of grabbing um, happiness in, in Japanese society. So in this poem, she really um, underestimates herself, which is a very common uh, phenomenon in Japan. People tend to underestimate themselves and ask themselves uh, if the happiness is not uh, worth for them. Um, so this poem says, 
Um, no, um, I'm afraid. Please let me go. Don't take me away. So probably this piece reflects her fear towards uh, men. Uh, in the other hand, in this piece, for instance, uh, she expresses her feeling she had, uh, she shared with her boyfriend, for instance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that word uh, in Japanese it's uh, onomatope and um, it's it's a pretty uh, sexual um, like word. Uh, usually a person would say in uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, just just district to me. So in this piece, it's pretty obvious she, uh, she draws this kind of a vicious circle. Um, so in here, it says uh, um, ugly for women in Japan, and it continues with uh, uh, powerless, um, empty-minded, uh, recovery, um, overestimate, um, egocentricism, regret, and uh, self-hatred. Uh, and it goes around and around. And around. Yeah. 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 Um, and, uh, and the common theme that goes through all her pieces is this feeling of rather being alone, the loneliness, than sadness, um, which is a very Japanese uh, characteristic. People tend to feel more alone than sad. So this is a brief description of my background so far. Um, and I'm going to, uh, to show you some um, Japanese very traditional uh, representation of uh, Japanese religion, culture. Um, so I'm going to start with this uh, jar called the uh, Jodokyo uh, painting, which is a literal representation of heaven in Japan. Uh, those pictures are from about uh, 12th century. This is the most famous one uh, in Japan um, of Ippen. Mm. So each uh, statue that comes out from his mouth represents uh, each pronunciation of the prayer, of the Buddhist prayer. So she, uh, he's uh, the pioneer of uh, performance. <laughs> Rap and the music and the dancing and the <laughs> every day, <laughs> a super dancer and dancing and uh, and this is this is okay, uh, rap scene. Do, 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 do. Dancing together. So in this religion, uh, people gather around like this, and uh, they they're singing, dancing, and uh, and saying their prayer in order to go to heaven. So 
So this particular religion called the Jodo Kyo um, represents uh, still today this um, very Japanese uh, uh, reflection of um, the mass, the power of the mass. They gather around and and do a collective activity together. So there's some picture that uh, depicts the Buddha that um, comes from the heaven to visit people on earth, like this one. So this uh, genre is called uh, uh, Laigo, and this version is a speed up version. So li literally all the Buddha uh, takes velocity and they come on, on earth very speedy. <laughs> So there are two um, vectors of, um, of evolution, which uh, the, the first one is um, the, the gain in velocity. So, so people want um, Buddha to come faster and faster, and they want them to be bigger and bigger. So this one uh, depicts um, the Buddha bigger than a mountain. So um, this uh, Amida culture, the Buddha people um, desire them to, to save their life uh, as fast as possible and as fun as possible, like this one, uh, you see all those uh, cheer girls and, uh, yes. and uh, music players and yes. so and so. Mm -hmm. um, this is very much influenced by the uh, old Indian paintings in Gandhara area. This is Japan's national uh, treasure. Um, at the same time, they needed to uh, have some um, dualist uh, depiction of the world. So they, there are many, many re representation of the hell as against the representation of heaven, like this one. So this one um, shows what if a very noble person dies? So that person dies and uh, rotten, becomes more and more rotten. And, and after uh, some time later, there is all those uh, wild animals that come to eat the body. And after more time spending, it um, becomes like this. So um, already in 13th century, 12th, 13th century, um, realism was very um, one big school in Japan's uh, representation. Uh, this one shows a person um, whose skin is stripped by a devil in hell. And those were the uh, representation of the mass desire and their uh, re reflection of their mental back in the 13th century. And I'm going to show you uh, the, the same kind of representation. Um, maybe the uh, resolution is different from the projector. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. It didn't test that. 
on the computer if you want. So. Yeah. But not on the projector. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Okay. So technical problem. Just, just a little bit. I mean. Okay. Um, I'm going to re restart the computer. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I went to the bookstore yesterday and I found this uh, very interesting book about Japanese uh, street graphic design. Many books uh, published in the U.S. have uh, have been filtered by this uh, foreign um, point of view, which try, which tends to um, to emphasize this Japanese exo um, exotic uh, side. But this book is very uh, has a very flat point of view, so I want to recommend to you. So that, this one uh, shows the young people's fashion in Japan. A pretty extreme fashion sense. I was going to show um, the uh, the Japanese pop group called Morning Musume, which is which has the same structure as those uh, uh, religious paintings. I'm going to show you through uh, from my computer. So this is the same structure as a very traditional Japanese uh, religious paintings. So it is the same scene as this uh, monk I showed you before, dancing and uh, playing music. And one amazing thing is that um, those people on this video clip, um, all their faces are uh, digitally modified and made uh, sharper and slimmer. Um, Japanese people's face are more flat, they look flatter usually, so they put this uh, Photoshop filter to make it look uh, 
more 3D, three-dimensional. This is the same uh, idea that draws its origin from uh, print club, Purikura. The small uh, Japanese uh, photo sales. And print clubs all have uh, digital effects on it, so that people's face comes out more uh, three-dimensional. So that even Japanese people's face can come out more three-dimensional, like the Greek sculptures. That's why Japanese people love so much print clubs. So Japanese, uh, today Japanese schoolgirls go to uh, those uh, um, aesthetic uh, surgeon. So they call this uh, Titi surgeon. One more piece. One more piece. Uh, one machine. This is a masterpiece. masterpiece. Um, I can send you emails uh, with this video piece. I got this uh, illegally on from the internet. Uh, I'm gonna talk uh, about the copyright issue on the internet later. Um, for instance, this piece uh, came out on the internet right on the same day as the video was published in Japan, and at the same night, uh, young people in Japan uh, copied it and uh, sent sent to everyone to the email. Japanese people, uh, young people, really spend much time on uh, downloading these uh, video clips from Morning Musume. So I'm gonna um, show you some sound piece only, not with visual. <laughs> it's a very strange atmosphere. <laughs> um, so all, all these voices um, are supposed to represent the, the, se the sexual uh, voice. <laughs> and there's no lyrics in this song, and just go like this. <laughs> so this piece could uh, possibly go with uh, as a background music for uh, for instance, Takashi Murakami's uh, this culture piece. <laughs> so this is w one of the roots of Japanese culture, Japanese mass culture. あの、自然と人間の関係、アゲンストネイチャーって言ったんだけど、え、自然がどんどん文明が入って、仏教が入ってきて追いやられていくんですね。その追いやられていく自然と神が融合していく。
Another very important point in Japanese, understanding Japanese culture is this uh, opposition between civilization and, and nature. So uh, when uh, Buddhism came in Japan as the symbol of um, civilization, it really uh, fought against the nature, um, natural religion in Japan. So it is the same uh, phenomenon that happened in India when uh, Buddhism came, um, that the Hindu gods and goddesses were um, expulsed from um, the Indian cultural scene by the uh, arriving of Buddhism. So this is the, the god Shiva. So in Japanese uh, indigenous religion, there is this uh, religion called mountain religion. So people wear these white robes and they they walk around the mountains and. This is the Moon Mountain in Japan. So ecology is one very important keyword in Japanese uh, um, original culture. So they believed that gods were living in mountains like, like this. So at the same time, the, the uh, natural environment has been um, destroyed by civilization. Uh, it also meant the uh, um, demolition of gods. And so people like uh, Hayao Miyazaki, who directed uh, The Princess Mononoke and uh, Spirit Away, um, he, he says uh, the, um, animism, so, which means the uh, literal uh, relationship between human and uh, the nature, can only save uh, Japan. Um, so even uh, modern businessmen and salarymen in Japan, they they're trying to find to refine the roots, and they 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 go on to this workshop in the in the mountains. <laughs> so they have they have a pack tour and this uh, mountain uh, workshop. So they enjoy a lot. <laughs> so this is one performance by uh, one of the monks. So this is kind of a banjin jump in the, in the valley. <laughs> so this one pr pretends to be uh, working, but uh, he, actually he's enjoying his trip. So he, um, this kind of tour is uh, forbidden for women and only for men. So uh, Japanese men go to their um, workshop to have fun. Um, and. They actually don't tell the wives. This is a fairly old piece. So after all the work is done, they, they party. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is the, the happiest moment for Japanese men. So they, they all 
uh, license. get this kind of license Yamabushi or license. diploma <laughs> after the workshop. <laughs> so they all have this uh, hierarchy and grades, so every time they go on the workshop, they, they get a promotion and uh, other stuff like that. It's like in the army, so people get medals and uh, stars on their on the chest. So in Japan, uh, people believe have a strong belief in uh, waterfalls. Um, they, they believe their uh, gods inside waterfalls. This is a very famous waterfall in Japan called uh, Nachi. In Wakayama Prefecture. And this is a painting of the same waterfall. Uh, this piece is very old, but uh, the contemporary artist Tatsuo Miyajima, who also went to uh, Venice Biennial in 1992, uh, was inspired by this piece. This is a Edo era, Edo period uh, graphic from Kuniyoshi. Very um, graphical. I like him very much. He made many other uh, masterpieces, but uh, it's too bad I can show you the other ones. <laughs> I can spend a whole year um, lecturing on this uh, artist called Kuniyoshi. Uh, this is the pioneer of this mountain uh, religion uh, way of working out, uh, named Enno Ozunu. And his roots is actually uh, in China, uh, um, imaginary Chinese emperor called Jinno. This is before Christ. So, so uh, Japanese people and nature have been this really close relationship from the ancient time. This is a uh, uh, mummy of a monk. So uh, this is a method called Sokushinbutsu which uh, literally means uh, a monk becomes a Buddha himself by staying in an underground hall for uh, more than 10 days uh, without eating or drinking anything and just waiting for his death so that he can uh, eternalize himself and become a Buddha. Um, so, in some Japanese area, like the northeastern region, uh, the f famine was a very, very uh, deep issue. So, um, all the um, intellectual uh, people, like the monks, uh, try to uh, respond to that uh, natural phenomenon by becoming themselves a uh, representation of famine. あの、自然というものは神と一緒にされて、その神仏修行というものが、あの、神というのは全部滅ぼされていくんですね、アニメズムの文面の中で。それでやっと生き残りをつけてサバイバルのテクニックとして神仏修行ってブディズムと一緒
uh, Buddhism and other um, culture of uh, civilization. So when you try to understand uh, culture, not only Japanese culture, you have to look at those two extreme points, uh, which are the major point and the very uh, minor point. And I always tend to uh, watch both sides in order to make a more rich uh, expression. Um, in Japanese society, uh, all the artists and creators are, uh, have been really uh, segregated. For instance, for this uh, project in, in Germany, uh, the government asked the creator to, uh, to work on the project. And the budget was uh, 1.5 million yen, uh, I mean uh, 15 million yen. And 10 million went to the architecture part, and 5 million went to the, all the uh, invitation of VIPs and uh, all those work. And actually the creators didn't have any budget. No budget. So I was going to protest for that. 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 So in order to protest and come over, overcome the situation, I gathered all the sponsors like Epson uh, and other companies. I gathered around all my students too. So I used all my uh, friends' connection inside Epson, for instance, to get their uh, cooperation. So as a whole, uh, many Japanese uh, corporate are not working well, but um, the individuals inside can, can be very helpful. So my concept uh, in this piece was to ask the students who helped me to use only freeware and shareware software and um, not using any uh, corporate software. So everything was um, original, and uh, all the inks and papers for printing was provided by an uh, Epson uh, friend. In <laughs> and this friend in Epson, he gave me uh, the, all the equipment, not telling his boss. So I hope there's no Epson person in this place. Yeah. So the, the total length of the print was about a half a mile on this Epson plotter. And the only hardware we had was that very old Macintosh. Uh, the whole rendering process took seven days. Seven days, uh, four, uh, five machines, seven days, seven days, seven days, seven days. And the 700 meters. Um, we're not sleeping at all, and you can. There's, there was no human right in this situation. So, if you um, for, for Japanese creators, there's no human rights at all. Um, especially the di digital creators. Yes. <laughs> uh, so this situation was part of uh, my, my fine art piece, the whole s struggle for uh, being creative in Japan.
、で彼らはその後みんなあのそれぞれすごく4人やってくれたんだけどああのいろんなガンダムに行ったりして今活躍しています日本のアニメーション All the four assistants that helped me in this project、um, um, got a, a fairly good job after this project. So they survived this、um, situation、uh, thanks to the energy drink and PlayStation. Yes. <laughs> So, this is how、um, creators in Japan work. But at the same time, this struggle helped them a lot to、uh, become better and better. I'm going to show you and explain、uh, what I did at、uh, Yokohama Triennial. これはあのキュレーターの京都国立近代美術館の河本由紀さんは、うんえー、このフィエステリアという五大湖地方のバクテリアの情報を。So、uh, I got this picture of、uh, bacteria because、uh, フィエステリア from the curator of、uh, Kyoto Fine Art Museum。でこれはあの有名なフィエステリアオルブっていうサイトがあるのでぜひ見てください。うん、you can make a search、uh, with a フィエステリア。非常にデモニッシュな。It's a very、uh, damnish and very evil、uh, bacteria. So it usually、uh, has himself in the bottom of a river、uh, inside a cell. And every time the,、uh, a fish、uh, comes by, it,、um, this、uh, fiesteria opens up itself and、uh, sticks itself to the fish. And after it sticks on the fish,、uh, it kills the fish by、uh, making it suffoke. So after the fish dies,、uh, this fiesteria、um, transforms itself to amoeba and eats all the fish meat. で全部平らげるとまたセルに変えるから。And after it eats、uh, the whole fish,、uh, it、uh, retransforms itself into this cell. 長い間、水質検査しても発見されなかった。結構見つからなかった長い間。And you, it's really hard to find it in the river, and it can survive for more than 200 years. だからあのキュレーターのオーダーもすごいストレンジだと思うけど、僕ともう一人のアイテムと僕に対してこれを送ってきてこういう作品を作れと。So, the curator's、uh, aim was to tell me to make some piece、uh, pretty similar to this Fisteria. It was pretty strange order. And I made something that has no relation to this. <laughs> But I, I, I had to do something anyway. So. Um, I always think about the globalization issue today. This is the Barmian、uh, Buddha that was destroyed by the Taliban. This is before it was destroyed by the Taliban. This is a painting by an artist. So, this、uh, event was a very big issue for me for a long time. So, this event was a very big issue for me for a long time. So, when I got this picture, I had that、uh, Barmian Buddha destruction in my mind. So, after I consulted my, my friend,、uh, I came out with this project.、Uh, the building is called、uh, the Intercontinental Hotel in Yokohama. It's the tallest、uh, building in Yokohama. 
4メートルのビル。It has a 144 meter height. でこのイナゴは最初70メートルありました。And the locust、uh, was 77 meter high. であの自分でもできると思ってなくて冗談でしたちょっと。So I didn't be believe I could make this at all. So it was it was like a joke for me. でも CG だとどんなジョークもできてしまいます。We can make any joke with、uh, using a 3D modeling. 自分で CG をやってるとついついあのどれが現実までいけるかわからなくなります。When I use a、uh, um, um, computer graphics a lot, I tend to, to forget the, the border between reality and、uh, the imagination. で僕はこれを持ってあのいろんな人たちとここの交渉に行きました。So I brought this、um, preview print to、uh, negotiate with the Intercontinental Hotel people. その時にここの副支配人にイルカにしたら許すと言われました。<笑> um, at that time,、uh, I met the sub-manager of the hotel, and he told me, you can do it、uh, if you make a dolphin instead、yes. of a locust. <笑>ロ,ーカスー<笑>ロカスは気持ち悪い。で、僕はその時にアートは現代美術は気持ちが悪いのがいいんだ。And I told him back,、uh, fine art is、uh, disgusting. <laughs> uh, and the, the sub manager told me、uh, all the、uh, women employees will, will be disgusted by watching this every day. <laughs> I told him、um, the, all the problems in the world、uh, always exist, so why not seeing it every day? で僕が言ったのはなぜインターコンチネンタルを選んだかというとグローバリゼーションの象徴である。And I told him that why I chose internet,、uh, intercontinental hotel because that was a symbol of globalization. でこれはあのイナゴですから世界中を同じようにこう平らに食ってしまう。So this is a locust, so、um, as a symbol it can eat,、uh, eat, eat up everything in the world. だからそういうきちっとネガティブキャンペーンを言ってネガティブな話を言って交渉きちっとします。So,、uh, in this negotiation,、um, I told the sub manager all my、uh, honest thoughts. So, I, I told him my、uh, negative thought on his whole building, which was. So, as against the、uh, 70 Expo in Japan, this was a very good opportunity for me. これだけマイナスにホテルのお客さんにも迷惑かかるとかのマイナスように言ったのに協力してくれたことに今も感謝しています。Uh, I'm very、uh, grateful to the、uh, sub manager who allowed me to do this、uh, negative campaign on the hotel because it was kind of annoying all the customers inside. で特にあのパーソンとパーソンという日本には素晴らしい人たちがたくさんいます現場にでその人たちが僕たちにコミットしてくれてアーティストを守ってくれます。So in Japan, you、uh, usually、um, go see all the, the people individually instead of trying to work with the administration because that's going to take forever. So this person uh, was uh, from the Intercontinental Hotel. Who、uh, showed us all the、uh, structure of the building? So he's the、uh, director on site of the hotel, and usually his work is to check all the lights if,、uh, if the, all the lights in the hotel were、uh, working or not. だから僕たちと一緒にコラボレーションした2ヶ月は彼の一生の思い出です。So he, he was really enjoying working with us for two months. 彼は今でもアートは忘れられない。He, he tells me that he, can, he can't forget、uh, all the memories he shared with me. <laughs> This is computer graphic.、Uh, 最初はジョークと思ったんだけど本当にできてしまいました。So I was thinking、uh, this will stay as a joke, but、uh, actually it came out as reality. <laughs> but I had to、um, borrow a、uh, big amount of money to, to make this project. 
food was it in air, air uh, simulation? So this was a simulation experiment in order to make the locust. Uh, all the students from Yokohama University uh, cooperated with me for this. I also made this figure to uh, draw people's attention and get some fund. Um, so after I made this uh, promotional piece, uh, many Japanese people um, uh, gave me um, money and the, the total amount was uh, $600. Uh, six million dollars. Six hundred thousand dollars. I'm sorry. <laughs> A big amount of money, anyways. The figure is Takashi Murakami who made the same place. The cube, cube. I ordered this uh, figure in the same place. Uh, Takashi Murakami uh, makes his figures. Called Cube. And the final version uh, came from a uh, factory in, in Florida. <laughs> so I was really scared by um, watching this one at first, so I didn't believe this one could go on the building. But I, I couldn't escape because there were TV crews and helicopters around. <laughs> Where I go? <laughs> I'm going to show you some uh, video piece from that scene. People who have this uh, red helmet, or the one called the Tobi in Japan, for a uh, specialist for uh, um, building construction. All their boss uh, have like tattoos on, on their body. They all look like a gorilla, uh, like a silver bag. But they're all very intelligent and kind people. Uh, 
So all these Tobi people, uh, the specialists in construction, um, they usually don't have any uh, university diploma, but they have a very good anticipation skill and uh, improvising skills. <laughs> See, this person arrived who looks like a Yakuza, like a Mafia. Uh, he's my partner from the uh, Yokohama National University, Mr. Murui Shigeru. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, easily excited and uh, I was going through many disputes with him. In the midst of the construction of the locals, uh, the company who was supposed to make the balloon uh, ran away, so we didn't have anyone to make the balloon. So after the company uh, ran away, I gathered all the students from Yokohama University and we made we made a balloon uh, by scratch with uh, only with, with the students. So through this operation, I really uh, realized the high potential of uh, university students. So usually in Japanese society, uh, people tend to, to hide uh, students from uh, dangerous uh, work. But uh, once I, I discovered their talents, uh, that was really exciting. Even the students who participated in this project uh, were, uh, were at the edge of death sometimes uh, because it's a very dangerous work. But uh, at that kind of extreme situation, uh, all the students uh, tend to uh, have much higher inspiration and good work. So fine art as a way of um, expressing um, so, um, anti-natural uh, experience. So I think you really should um, exploit art to uh, to overcome the reality. So this was a very good opportunity for us to do this pretty huge project because without the Yokohama Triennial uh, project opportunity, we, even, we couldn't have done this. All the students were uh, volunteering, so they were not paid at all. So there were about 30 students who came to help us, so um, I would become broke if I paid them. <laughs> um, the total amount of um, reward I got from the from this project was fifteen hundred dollars minus all the taxes. So each one of us with Mr. Moroi, uh, we we borrowed uh, fifteen fifteen thousand uh, yen, and we got only. 
1500 yen. This was accomplishment. All the uh, wires were pretty fragile, so they got, they've been cut, so it was a very hard time. This was the end of the project after the final day. This was when the accident happened. Uh, there was a hole made on the body of the locust. So we stayed inside a hotel 24-7 to watch for any accident happening, but we couldn't uh, prevent this one. <laughs> So after this, um, this locust was hitting, was keeping on hitting the, the hotel. So that was pretty much um, worrying, make, making the car, the other customers uh, worrying. And uh, some manager came to me, and I was expecting him to say, "Please stop this as soon as possible." But. <laughs> He, he didn't tell me to stop, so I was really surprised by their guts. <laughs> so after, after his uh, really nice permission, I thought about um, staying at this hotel again. So we were very uh, lucky because the people from the hotel, they never um, told us to stop this project, even in accident, but they actually uh, supported us until the end of the project. In every emergency case, uh, there were nobody else than the students who helped us. All the steps were um, very unstable by the by the, by the wind, so that, that was pretty dangerous. This is the last uh, catastrophe. Ha, ha, ha.
でなんか静かに見えるんですけど雨が降ってて降ろ,せん降ろすのちょっと躊躇した。So it looks very quiet, but it was raining actually, so it was very hard to bring it down. 急に空気が抜け始める。And all the air was going out all of a sudden. であの風が強いので手出しができない。The wind was very blowing, so we couldn't do anything. So all the cloth was stuck into these frames. And the slider、uh, that was supposed to come down did, did not. So it was very dangerous. One of the staff、uh, who was staying in the hotel called me uh, like a,、uh, he was weeping and asked me to, to know、uh, what to do for this. The lock has many zipper on its sides, so all the zippers were、uh, beginning to,、uh, to open up. It was made by an American company called Rainzip. So it was, it was more impressive、um, watching this on the real sites than the video.、Um, it's 20 stories high, so it's pretty scary. So, this was the, the start and the end of the Yokohama Triennial Project. So, 
こうですね。So, I mean this kind of、えー、ここの後で見てください。この絵のフロリダで生まれて、バッタが来て、so、横浜トリエンナルで破れているとこはここに書いています。And this accident was、uh, happening sometime here. でその後、借金が多くたくさん、たくさんバジェットがないので、借金回収するために、えー、僕たちが手で塗って、えー、日本のあちこちをツアーしています。<笑> so, in order to give back all the board money,、uh, we were touring、uh, through whole Japan. To, to show this and get some money back. で、太郎岡本の太陽の塔の前、それから水戸芸術館、磯崎新たの前。So we went to Osaka in front of、uh, Okamoto Taro's、um, the tour of the sun. We went to、uh, Mito Museum. いろんなあのモニュメントに、磯崎さんとか岡本さんのモニュメントに、えー、挑戦、チャレンジしています。So we are putting this、uh, locus in front of many、uh, other masterpieces from the past, like、uh, Arata Isozaki's architecture. So if you're interested, you can come watch in Japan. This is the two of 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 the And I asked、uh, two curators from、uh, the Japanese museum who helped me a lot through this project to uh, make um, a song. Uh, kind of improvising song、uh, in here and here. Yes, so. Do it, do it. Deva, just to, I know, see a robot no koto, ni utsuru mai ni skoshi. De, eh, kono yo na koto shteimas ga, kekko, eh, technology art o mo shteimas. I also work in some、uh, yes. technological art.、Mm-hmm. And this is、uh, fragile. This piece called fragile. これはあのネットワークを使った作品で。This is a piece I used,、uh, the network technology. ICC で使っています。In ICC in Tokyo. ここにちょっとあのその時一緒にやってくれたスタッフの富田君に来ていますが、フーディニーというソフトを使って、インタラクティブにあのジャンケンとデジタルのジャンケンを組み合わせたプロジェクトです。Um, using the software, the 3D software called Houdini,、uh, I, made, I made an interactive piece with、uh, the Japanese、um, Um, Caesar paper and、uh, stone game. The Imao, I know, at last, who didn't know, I know, Tino, Tuka, Mochot, and VJ, Nanka, and Tokas, the version of Touch, Tino, at the, so they are no Ipen Shoning, and Odor, and DV, Toka, so you know, no, Sakuhi Matas, Kurimas. And I'm also going to make some uh, uh, VJ, uh, using some、uh, VJ software. Korea, some Tokino system. This is the system. ここのシステムで一番大きなのはあの普通のテレビ電話を使ったということですね。Um, I used a normal、uh, TV phone system. テレビあテレビ電話をあの日本の公衆電話のあのあるところのボックスに持って行って、えー、ジャックするんですよね。So I brought a TV TV、uh, monitor phone in a、um, regular public phone system. でテレビでテレビ電話のカメラを使ってブロードキャスト。というかそのテレビ電話のカメラを使って街からの放送をした。So I, I, I broadcasted the, the scenery from the、uh, street public phone、um, using this system. でそれを、えー、ここのですね、えー、とモニターに最初のところにこのモニターにこう映し出したわけです、ね。And I put, it, I, I put back the visuals、uh, from the public phone on this、uh, monitor here. でこのモニターの、えー、スイッチングを切り替えるのはここにオペレーターがいて。オペレーターの体にはセンサーウェアが入っていて。So there's an operator、uh, hidden in, inside the tower who switches all the screens. オペレーターはそのオペレーターの体のこうポーズによってチャンネルは二チャンネルはこうとか四チャンネルはこうとか。And all the operators have a, a body bending sensor. So、um, depending on their pose, the, uh, the uh, showing channels、uh, switch. At the same time. だから何でもどんどんこう小さくなって簡単になっていくのを逆に大きくして、うん、あの要するにインターフェースを肥大化させた。そう、I try to make the interface、um, uh, becoming bigger rather than making it compact。それと同じようないくつかこれはまあ実際に稼働はしてないんですけどこういうことを考えています。これはあの身体を使ったスイッチングシステムですね、映像を作っていく。So this piece is not yet、uh, realized, but I'm thinking about making this、uh, very、uh, physical, physical interface. こうシステムですね
時間がないのでざっとだけお見せします。I don't have much time, so I'm just going through very quickly. This is Kerak-interface. So, So, so I was inspired by the Chinese. So what's interesting is that they make it. 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 Electric signals to their face. Uh, you, you could you could see their face uh, projected on the screen and see how their their face was uh, distorted. これはネットワーク上のバーチャルリアリティの 3D のチャットシステムです。えカタカナサービスというのはそのカタカナチャット。今みんなあのほとんどあの携帯電話で今若い人日本の若い日本はもうゲームは売れないんですね。ほとんど日本の若い人たちっていうかまあ日本人みんな寂しいからあのつながっていたいんですよ。でみんなつながっていたいからだから日本の携帯電話っていうのは非常にインターネットもできるしメールのやり取りができるからそれが今日本の一番中心的なコミュニケーションツールになって So I made this piece for web use.、Uh, this is a 3D chat system.、Um, actually in Japan now peop,、uh, the game industry is going low and people、uh, spend much more、uh, money into buying a new、um, uh, portable phone, cellular phone. Because、uh, many Japanese people feel lonely and wants to be connected. ここにあのみんながこうチャットで使うの短い言葉、今元気とか、何してるのとか、あのどこにいるのとかそういうのがいっぱい集まって、いやいやそれを書いたのがピュッと出るんです。マッピングされる。リアルタイムにマッピング。So every time a person sends a message is it,、uh, it is mapped、uh, real time on this 3D、uh, So you can browse through this、uh, navigation system and find your your favorite message and, and click on the message. So there's no visual element in this piece.、Uh, there are only words. So people、um, use this service、uh, only to seek words from other people. これはみんな日本のあのアニメとか漫画にあるような吹き出しと呼ばれる絵の中に文字がこういう形で出てきますね。So the all the balloons、uh, shape or inspired from Japanese manga。それがいろんな歩いてるとフィジカルいろんな場所でパッとこうバルーンが出てくるんです。So you can see those balloons in a 3D space。そういうアイディアです。こういうのをやってます。それで。最後にちょっとじゃあ次のあのオペレーションをしてもらいますからそれまでにロボット今度あの考えたロボットのシステムについて。Gonna show you my robot piece, robotics piece. こちらはデザインもされる方が多いと思うのでそれでちょっと一緒にあの同時にお見せすることにします。でこれはあの萩の美術館の依頼で茶室萩に茶室があるんですが。その茶室に何かしてほしいというリクエストによって始めました。So I was asked by、uh, this museum in Hagi, Japan, to do some interesting thing using their、uh, tea tea room. そこの茶室の中のこれはちょっとわかりにくいんですが有名な日本の元禄時代の絵で久住森影という人の。This was made by a famous artist called 久住森影。夕顔棚納涼図というあの様子にあの夕顔っていうのひょうたん。その氷炭がずっとあるところで、あの夫婦と子供が三人でお月さんが出ているところでのんびりくつろいでいるという非常にゆるい絵です。ゆるい絵です。So in this piece you see this couple and their child are relaxing together by watching the moon at night. 僕は最も好きな絵です。でこの絵に対して非常に問題があってこの男の人の着ているテテラという服が後で書き加えられたもんじゃないのかっていう議論がずっと絶えなかった。This is the,、uh, the best piece I, I mostly like, and there is an argument saying that the,、uh, the clothes the man is wearing has been modified after the original piece was made. 
これをデジタイズで完全にあの着衣を取った状態を僕は全部想定で書き起こしてでそれを掛け軸にしてました Um, I made a scroll、um, by imagining that the man was naked and I took apart his clothes and made a piece with it.、ね、This is the same flower、uh, called Hyotan <laughs> that was in the picture. This was the,、uh, the original image I made for a NeuroCube project. これが本物がこれですね。And this is the real piece. これが2000年の11月20日、これぐらいから始まってます。So the project started、uh, two years ago in 2000. でそれを、えー、このようなですね、あのネットワークのバイオシステムを構想しました。So I, I conceptualized this、uh, networking、uh, interactive piece. インターネットを使ってサーバー経由で遠隔地からこうロボットでリモートコントロールして水質とか温度管理とか全部できるように考えます。So in this piece you could control all the,、uh, the temperature and the, the water quality、uh, by remote control from the web, from the internet. 理球と同じアーティフィシャルなアイデアなんですが、理球も非常にアーティフィシャルなことをした人です。で、私も正月の1日に、えー、寒い冬の全然違うシーズンにその茶室の前にこのように森陰と同じような氷炭をタワーに実らせました。正月です。元旦の日。And、um, I made this project、uh, start on the first of the year.、えーね、so, this is a, the graphic design process. I forgot I was. I couldn't find any good font, so I just、uh, drew by myself. So, this is the final design I made with the calligraphy. And the calligraphy means、uh, green piece. So I wanted to translate this、uh, very peaceful mood of a normal people living. ではあの皆さんあの、あまりにいろんなことを一,一日のうちに言うので混乱されると思いますが、えー、次は,ではフラクタルです。Uh, <笑> <one> is fractal. Yes. 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 If you put the hand like this, the plant grows. And if you put the right hand, the plant becomes smaller.、Okay. And this kind of application can be developed very easily. This is pretty easy to do, even for、uh, art、uh, or graphic design people. 
this this work can be done with the macro major director or visual basic by microsoft Remember? Yeah. this is what you conceive in your code world yeah So I was very unhappy about the situation that only a very talented people could go on programming. So I wanted to give chance to everyone to work in a media art environment. And I came up with this piece. So I wanted to destroy this um, hardware border, uh, just like the Sony Walkman came out. That's why I threw this piece uh, into the media art scene in order to destroy all the borders, the technical borders uh, between art and media art. I'll show you the source code of uh, uh, Visual Basic. Uh, Visual Basic is all English. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Almost. 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 Some Japanese. <laughs> Java okay, Java all right, Visual Basic all right, C++ all right, and uh, I'll show you uh, some uh, patterns. And the uh, director, the Excel all right, Excel okay. Uh, I, I think and um, very cool um, Excel VJ, Excel DJ, Excel Graph. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, business tool is uh, very nice, uh, I think. No. <coughs> uh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me see. You mentioned graph uh, Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. the, both, uh, the structure of music and graphics uh, is fractal. The, I use the same algorithm for the music and uh, graphics. Uh, recursive, recursive fractal. No. Uh, just to, to help understanding what is going on here. So, uh, Tsubaki, um, he, he is an artist and he, for example, when he did this um, big locust piece, he worked with the uh, people from engineering department and f behind the scene there was a lot of a huge amount of simulation and calculation and dynamic sim simulation and things like that to see how the, uh, the building can support this locust in that it can win this situation and things like that and you could see uh, that the, uh, he was also working with the uh, highly uh, advanced technology with the, using virtual reality and then he came to realize this he had conceived this idea to, uh, to develop a system that can be shared by many artists so that the, those people who want to uh, use this kind of controller sensor system for the media can do that without, without uh, say, um, making what, what's that, wiring and things like that. So then uh, some system that supports different languages like he was explaining. And uh, so he has been working with uh, quite many artists now from visual art and also sound art, including Mr. Katsuta, uh, who is a composer and programmer at the same time. So here, what you, you're seeing, this fractal, is one example yeah. that uh, Mr. Katsuta is doing. But there are also other people who have been doing uh, you, you know, development, software development using NeuroCube, and it's a kind of consortium that people contribute uh, to create this shareware software that many people can use this using uh, many different languages. どうします。で、次、うん、だから次ちょっとずっと見せていこう。時間大丈夫ですか。オッケー。オッケー。あ、next okay. okay. uh, is the macromedia director example.
You can change the sensor any, uh, anywhere you want. This is a gyro sensor. A three dimensional uh, sensor and using XYZ axis. <laughs> Wait a moment, uh, total, totally zeros. Uh, it's uh, okay. initializing. Initialize, okay. okay. Complete. And the values are <laughs> from the uh, gyro sensor x axis, y axis, and z, and z axis. And if I rotate the uh, cube, then my face <laughs> rotates. Yes, rotate. <laughs> and if I continue rotating, Finally, uh, okay. You see? This is a Photoshop. Uh, だから Photoshop とかディレクターで今あの画像とか映像を持ってる人は全部それが動く。Photoshop のあれを連番を全部書き出して。So you can uh, you can export uh, every Photoshop uh, morphing uh, sequences and make this uh, this piece. Director, cast window. This one, cast window. Yeah, I have a lot of cast. my faces. So, director, the work you have now, the people who are doing this interaction, can make this. Director, can move in real time with the sensor. Just by using the sensor. Anyone can make a, a video art piece. There is gyro and touch. You can become a media artist. Okay, uh, this is a so, uh, source script. And you, you have to some, uh, you have to write some initial, in, uh, initialization procedure like, like this. And then you will get the value from sensor. This is a motor block and also work as an angle sensor. So if I rotate uh, like this,
And if I rotate the reverse wave, the music suitcase also reverses. The last example. あの、VJ、そう we added this feature uh this VJ software feature called touch inside Neurocube. So that's going to come out in December. So you can take a look. あの、皆さん、ご覧の方、ウディニーというソフトのえ、スペックを継承したもので、ミディの信号によってえ、3D CG リアルタイムレンダリングします。そう、そうです。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう
have a special session actually upstairs in the room 212 uh, demonstrating a little bit more precisely uh, these, these possibilities uh, that this quite amazing technology has. And, um, and I think we have seen examples of uh, quite an interesting uh, uh, selection of, of uh, quite amazing projects and um, hopefully learned uh, quite a bit about Japanese uh, contemporary art and Japanese uh, uh, culture in general. So, um, uh, so thank you very much for coming and, uh, and uh, if you, really if you want to uh, learn more about this so join us at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And um, Machiko, uh, actually I forgot to say that uh, this lecture series has been co-organized uh, by uh, our visiting professor Machiko Kusahara and myself. Machiko, you wanted to say something. Uh, thank you very much, Colonel Tsubaki-san and Professor san and Dominic. And uh, maybe we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have enough time because of the, it, it was with the translation, it takes you know, time double as normal. But um, I hope you got some idea about the kind of very wide range of the works that uh, Japanese artists does, right, in case of Tsubaki or some other Japanese artists. So this kind of very really kind of wide variety uh, dealing with uh, very kind of fine art thing to technology, even to development, and also to the relation to the, the entertainment, or, and also collaboration with other people, other artists and engineers. It's something really interesting in Japan, which I don't see very often in other countries. So I hope you enjoy the lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.